Hello friends, welcome to another video tutorial. Here I would like to deal with the self sterility or self incompatibility. It is a condition in which the male gamete, the two male gamete present within the pollen grain, fail to fertilize with the female gamete, present with the carpal of eggs, present within the carpal of a same plant. That condition is known as self sterility. And this self sterility is due to the presence of a specific sterility factor gene within this plant. And this sterility factor gene usually represented as capital S if existing in different form or alternate form in plants. They are S1, S2, S3, S4, and it's etc. So it clearly indicates this is an example for multiple elements. And here one sterility gene is controlled by more than two elements. Okay. Now this self sterility was first noticed in a tobacco plant, that is Nicotiana tobacco belongs to the family Solanaceae. Now we have to think why God created a special mechanism like a self sterility in plants. Okay. Its answer is suppose if you think when this pollen grain land over the stigma and its pollen grain fertilizes with this female gamete. Then that is an example for inbreeding that is a fertilization with being more closely related cells. That is, both the cells are coming from same plant. So that is an example for inbreeding. We know that inbreeding or mating between or fertilization between more closely related cells leads to the expression of harmful recessive gene within the progeny. In, this, in, in the case of this plant, it leads to the expression or generation of harmful gene or genetic abnormalities within the, within the seeds of this plant. So, in order to prevent the genetic abnormalities within the seeds of this plant, God created a special mechanism like a self sterility or self incompatibility. Okay. Now, let us move into the what are the different type of self sterility found in plants. Okay. When we try to understand what are the different type of self sterility in plants, we can find that. There are mainly two types of self sterility in plants. They are gametophytic self sterility and sporophytic self sterility. And we have one more sterility mechanism which we, which we can discuss later. Okay. First of all, gametophytic self sterility. In case of gametophytic self sterility, here the sterility is determined by the gene present within the haploid pollen grain that is gametophyte. Okay. okay. We can understand it by using a simple diagram. Okay. This is Arthur. Ovary style and stigma. This ovary contains egg or female gamete. We know that egg or female gamete are haploid in nature, whereas this whole carpal is diploid in nature. Suppose if we imagine this carpal contains S1 S2 ovary. Okay. When a pollen grain of this plant with S1 honey land over the stigma, okay, then the male gamete present within this pollen grain cannot be able to fertilize if the egg present is within this S1 S2 honey because this pollen grain contains an S1 honey or G. Similar in case of when we when we analyze this S1 S2 honey. It also contains S1 allele. So, this pollen grain contains S1 allele and this carpal also contains S1 allele. So, it never matches with each other. Or the G product of S1 allele cannot be able to fertilize with the G product of S1 allele. Okay, thanks. Suppose if a pollen grain with the S3 allele land over the stigma, its male gamete can be able to fertilize with that because this S3 allele is not found here. Okay, so it can be able to fertilize, but it cannot be able to fertilize. Okay, that is a gametophytic fertility. So from this example, you can clearly analyze and understand that. Gametophytic cell sterility is determined by the allele or gene present within the pollen grain or male gametophyte. Whereas in case of sporophytic cell sterility, here the sterility is not determined by the gene present within the pollen grain like gametophyte. Here the sterility is determined, suppose this is S1, S2 allele. 
Okay. Here the sterility is determined by the gene present within the pollen producing plant. This is a pollen producing diploid plant. It contains yes 4 yes 2 allele. It contains S4 S2. So this plant can produce two types of pollen gene, one with S4, one with S2. Okay. Suppose S4 pollen gene land on the sigma, it cannot be able to replace because this S4 is coming from a plant with S2. So it will never match. That is why this pollen gene never replace. So in this case, S4 of itic sexuality is not determined by the allele of pollen gene but determined by the pollen producing plant. Suppose if this pollen gene land on the sigma, similar result, it cannot be able to replace because this has to IE containing pollen grain never fertilized with the female I mean, because its mother contains is to IE that's why so in this case self sexuality is determined by the pollen producing mother that is the difference but as in third case in some plants self sexuality is determined by the Interaction between the allele present within the carbon. That is third thing. Look here. Look here. I will show you. This is carbon. Okay. It contains S4, S5 allele. Okay. And the pollen grain with S4 allele. And the pollen grain with S4 allele on the stigma. What we like? Okay. I will explain. Here, S4, S5 allele are showing dominance property. Assumes that this S4 is dominant over S5. Then what will happen? This S4 express. S5 suppressed, not express. So, it is like absent. Okay. So, here S4 is absent. So, sorry, S5 is absent. Because S4 is dominant over S5. So the gene product of S5 and gene product of the gene product of S4 is present here, the gene product of S4 is present here. So it, it will never match. Okay, so this pollen gene cannot be able to replace. Suppose if you imagine this S5 is dominant over S4, so here S4 is suppressed. So this gene will never work. So here the gene product of S5 only present. Here the gene product of S4 only present. In that condition, this pollen gene can be able to fertilize with the carbon. Okay. So in this third case, interaction between the allele present between the carbon plays a crucial role in determining the cell crystallity. Like that, some allele here in the example, this allele shows dominance. In some other cases, allele shows co-dominance here S4 and S5 are suppose if you imagine this S4 and S5 are expressing together in equal proportion that process is called co-dominance so that indicator this carpal produces S4 gene product and S5 gene product so during that condition S4 cannot be able to fertilize because this carpal contain both the gene product because they are expressing together that process is called co-dominance that's that is the third condition the third condition says that the interaction between allele present within the carpal play a crucial role in determining self sterility. These are the three main types of self sterility found in plants. Okay, thank you.